Once again, let's find the perimeter and area of a triangle. But this triangle is a little bit different in that we don't have a measurement for the height. We're given a little bit of information about that. Knowing that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle add up to 180, we know that this angle has to be 60 degrees. And when you have a 60-60-60 triangle, that's known as an equilateral triangle in which all sides have the same length, so 8 inches all the way around. So for the perimeter, we can say that it's 8 plus 8 plus 8, and so from that we get 24 inches for our perimeter. The challenge here really is to find the area, and you see the area formula here represented, a squared root 3 all over 4, or you can use an approximation 0.433 times a squared. Now what a is in this case is the value of one of the three equal sides, so we'll simply place that in here, 8 squared, square root of 3, all over 4. Now this becomes a calculator problem in which we have to square the 8, take the square root of 3, and then divide by 4. And in doing so, we get uh, an approximate number here. We'll give you something like 27.7128.1292. And let's just go ahead and round that to three decimal places. And in doing so, we can come up with a, an approximate value, once again, of 27.713. Labeling, as always, because it's an area, we want to label that as square increments in this case, square inches. So this completes our area problem.